I'm Nicholas Boston, attendee of the largest school in the nation, the University of Central Florida. I'm located in the main campus here in Orlando, Florida. We have over 70,000 students. And welcome to my documentary on Black UCF. Now, Black UCF isn't a specific building on campus or a specific group on campus. It's a culture made up of different organizations and students and people that put in an effort to make this campus more comfortable for us. I have interviews, I have events, I have so much information packed into this. Make sure you stay until the end. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Convocation is the largest Pan-African event hosted by the largest Pan-African organization on campus, the Black Student Union, which I am proudly an executive board member of. As a biannual event hosted at the start of fall and spring semester, the purpose of Convocation is to bring together all of the black organizations on campus, ranging from progressive black men, to the Caribbean Student Association, to the historically black fraternities and sororities on campus, to allow us to table together and inform new, old, and prospective members of what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the semester. While all of that is going on, on stage, we have hosts from the Black Student Union, guest speakers, dance troops, and campus royalty, such as myself, providing entertainment and helping this event run as smoothly as possible. Convocation is an amazing experience, and I recommend it for every student on campus. However, the most growth that I experienced on a college campus was actually through the Black Student Union Scholarship Pageant. Come on, my brother. We are midway through. How you feeling? I think it's like a halftime interview. Great. I'm feeling <laughs> great. <laughs> Same here, Quan. Thank you for that very informative interview. Uh, you, sitting. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, you're here for two events. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Ready to get it on. Let's do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I find the sheikah you have on there. Mm -hmm. I wish I could grow chest hair. <laughs> halftime interview. How are you feeling? Halftime, halftime. Half I feel good. I feel real good. You know. Mm -hmm. How do you feel though? That's the real question. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling like the funkiest man in. alive. Ma'am, I'm getting to you, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Contestant number four. Secure you need a second hand? What? You need a second hand? No, I didn't have a plan when I had started recording those videos backstage. I just knew that pageant had been a very impactful experience for me and that I knew I'd want to speak on it at some point in time. And here I am now <laughs> fulfilling that thought. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I have those to look back on. I cherish them. I recommend anybody that does in the future to do the same thing. And it's great so that I can show it to you guys as well. Definitely one of a kind. This is not something I ever thought I would ever do, much less be engaged with and learn so much from, but it's definitely been a wild trip from learning how to portray myself, to taking command, to generally like being resourceful, thinking outside the box. That's something that I definitely enjoyed a lot. Would you recommend other guys for a pageant as well? Oh yeah, for sure. Dudes think, oh man, that's a pageant. Like what that got to do with me? But hey man, not only do you learn a little something, but you know, you gain a little something, something catch my drift. 
Uh, I've gained a lot of communication skills, more self-confidence, and to learn how to project within a crowd. Yeah, definitely, it's it's a lot of fun and it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth the experience. It's a little stressful at times, but you just gotta be prepared and then you'll be ready. I mean, it felt relieving at the end. Um, pageant took three months, so it was a lot of stress, a lot of work. So once they called my name, I was just like, okay, like, yeah, it's great. When you win one of our pageants, not only do you reap all the benefits from that, but you become the coach of the next year's pageant. So not only do we give you the skills and tools as a performer when you're a contestant on stage, but the very next year we give you the skills and tools as a manager when you become a pageant coach. And I love that. I love the dichotomy in it. It forces you to grow and become a better person. And pageant is just one of the many experiences we have here, man, like UCF. UCF is like, a whole little like town basically when you think about it it's so big and there's so many different departments and clubs to be a part of and there's so many students so for anyone that's the first year anyone that's just getting involved at UCF don't just go to class and go home there's something going on literally every hour on campus I'd recommend looking into different clubs on that connect looking to different departments you can get involved in from student government to homecoming and once you get in those little communities and clubs with people that's when you meet people and can kind of establish your network and then that opens friendships and just opportunities academically and professionally well, one main piece of advice I have for incoming freshmen is to start early. You want to be involved in campus by joining organizations because these organizations that you join could propel you into getting internships, which could propel you to getting jobs in the real world and after college. Although college life is very fun, make sure that you pack down onto your studies so you have a great semester and great graduation. So some of the opportunities that we provide here at UCF lies heavily in our RSO market. These are just registered student organizations and some of the most famous ones that you'll see here at UCF uh, will be like the Black Student Union or you know the Caribbean Student Association, ASO, Apex, um, and for more scholarship ones, we have like the John T. Washington Circle, Progressive Black Men, Sisters Incorporated. Black Women in Medicine or the Black Female Development Circle. Or if you're a guy and you're into law, you can join the National Black Law Student Association. And if you're an engineer, you can join NSBE, which is the National Society of Black Engineers. So there's different places you can go to to get connected that relate to your major and as well as getting involved and making connections with your professors because you never know where those networking opportunities can lead you. Um, and if you are really interested about making an impact on your community, I would look into Greek organizations, um, especially the National Panhellenic Council or the Diverse Greek Council. These organizations will help you kind of learn more about yourself and you know give you a brotherhood as well as give you the resources and tools to truly make that change you want on your community. And while stepping and strolling and you know the party aspect and the letters brings in a lot of people that are being interested in that aspect. What what we really represent is people that have put in work for their community and really to devote themselves to the community that made them. You had luck with them last week. But I also had a dream.
For all of my incoming freshmen and transfers, if you were interested in learning more about the um, National Panhandle Council, you can follow any one of the D9 fraternities and sororities on Instagram, or you can follow MPAC or at MPAC underscore UCF, um, where we post a lot of different events, updates. Um, you can also find us on Night Connect, as well as just speak to a brother or sister of any one of these organizations. They would be more than happy to help you. Now, I do want to take this opportunity to shed a small spotlight on something that I couldn't quite cover throughout this documentary so far. Wednesdays are prominent in Black UCF because the Black Student Union here was founded Wednesday, October 29th, 1969. Now, every Wednesday, we host an event. It could either be a GBM or a Black Wednesday. Black Wednesday is an event hosted by the Black Student Union every other Wednesday where we let other organizations table along with small business owners, allow them to sell treats, clothes, membership forms, while music is playing and people are walking by socializing, it's a great time. GBMs or general body meetings are hosted every other Wednesday as well in the student union. Here we talk about different topics and get to know our members a little bit more. I myself have hosted a fair amount of GBMs and I've used them to connect our students and members with people such as the reigning state attorney for Orange and Osceola County, Miss Monique Warrell, along with the founder and owner of the Abercrombie PA law firm, Doric Abercrombie, along with his brother, j -Mark. People have also used GBMs to discuss sexual health and mental well-being, but they don't always have to be business related. They could also just be holiday themed for Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving. Ultimately, you don't know what that GBM is gonna be about until that flyer comes out. So just make sure you go to them. Another aspect I haven't touched on about Black UCF is the amount of service that we do. From top to bottom, every major black organization here has a self-implemented mandate to serve our Orlando community. That includes working with kids through Boys and Girls Club, working with lower income families through United Against Poverty and Straight Street in downtown Orlando. And it extends beyond Orlando as well. Through the Black Student Union, I've spoken to a multitude of high schools as well as conducted tours to those high schools or other organizations such as the YMCA when they brought students here. I've done that and so have many other members of black organizations here at UCF. Once again, this is not something that the school mandates, but it's a rule that we put on ourselves because we care. We want to help. That was our main reason for joining. And if you watching this would want to join an e-board as well, that should be your main reasoning too. Ultimately, that was my goal in making this video as well, in order to help people and to inspire everyone who watches it to help people as well. If you want to help me out, you can like this video and leave a positive comment and share with everybody that you know. And I just want to thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I've only been in UCF for a year and a half and I'm already graduating because I transferred here. But in that time, UCF has helped me grow so much and now I want to help it grow as well. Hopefully this video helps do that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everyone that made this video possible. And this won't be the last you see of me.